All right, so it's time for a new project. Right here we have the ATV. I don't know if you remember it, but we basically did the most budget build possible, and it's a complete hoopty. <laughs> but it was really fun, and we really kind of fell in love with the idea of having a small ATV with a 212 on it that we could rip around. So we talked to our friends at Go Power Sports, and I'm gonna show you what we're put doing to this thing. So the plan for this build is our friends at Go Power Sports really hooked it up again. We kind of wanted to have kind of the vibe of one of those stunt ATVs that people kind of slam and put like taller tires on or slicks um, that they just drift around, do wheelies, have fun with. What we're going to use are these actually mini bike tires, but I think it, we might have traction deficits with just how the tires sit, but I think it'll be okay. It's going to help us drift and stuff and it just looks awesome. Um, so the idea is we just want this thing to be wide and low with a nice suspension. We'll get all into the suspension stuff later in this video from Go Power Sports. But this is going to make this build awesome. This is a Tillotson electric start racing motor straight out of the box from Go Power Sports. We're going to put the link in the description. Um, you can't go wrong with a Tillotson. Um, much more durable than 212s. It's going to be amazing. So the first thing we're going to do is get to stripping this thing down. about to slam, dude. Slammed. All right, so here goes the whole rear swing arm. It's actually pretty well set up on this thing. Um, what I'm gonna plan on doing is just basically chopping here and remaking a whole new rear section out of uh, one inch steel tubing. So we have our tires all laid out and this is where we want to be ride height and everything set up. I'd like it to be about two inches off the ground. I really want this thing to be as low as possible for like wheelies and stuff. But I think if we move this rear swing arm out a little bit and wide and like basically double the width of this thing, it's going to look amazing. I mean, this has got me excited, guys. I think this with like a 212 electric start Tillotson is going to be awesome. So now we're going to start making that happen. We're going to go over here to the swing arm. And basically what we're going to be doing is I'm going to just chop here. And then I'm going to go over to our Pro Tools tubing bender. And we're going to completely bend up a new rear section. It should look sick. All right, so here's the plan. Basically, I'm making a rear swing arm for this thing. Um, so the only thing that's going to get in the way of this is the chain. So basically, we can avoid that by just making it wide enough to where the rear sprocket isn't going to interfere. So imagine your sprocket's right here. We're going to bend up 290s, have it intersect right here, and the chain's just going to go straight over it. So let's get to our Pro Tools bender and bend up some tubing. Yo, one like equals one hair off of his head. Drop a like on the video, guys. Oh <laughs> it was really difficult for me to figure out what point of this was square to where we could have the axle bearings welded on here and here and still be straight. Um, so what I did is I put this bolt in and I made it so it went through the little bushing on the inside. And I measured from my mark here to the inside edge of the bolt, which puts us right at 13. And then what I did is I went off this way. And did the same exact thing and got right at 13. So that's me good enough for me. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it and right at the end here I'm going to just butt up our axle hanger from Go Power Sports and weld it all in. Okay, so the concept behind this is pretty simple. What we have here is our Go Power Sports shock. It's very pretty, all in white and black. Um, don't really know what color combo we're gonna go with, but I know it's gonna incorporate like 
just a huge contrast with like white and black. So what I did is I cut out a little bar here and this is gonna act as two things, a shock mount and a support. So this is gonna go right in between our little swing arm here and then I'm gonna mount the bottom of the shock to it, make just two little eyelets that it can go through and then that'll raise it and then I'll just utilize this factory uh, upper shock mount. Um, it looks a little weak, I'll probably add like one extra bar to it. And this is also the first um, rendition. If it's too springy or too low, we're gonna end up changing this factory location. But I figured there's nothing wrong with it, so I try to re-engineer it. So that'll go here, and I guess we'll just be starting somewhere like this, and hopefully droop about two or three inches off the ground. So let's get this stuff welded up. We are done with the rear section here. Um, I'm actually really, really happy with how this turned out. Um, I actually did, I went through a couple different renditions of kind of things that, that I didn't really like and stuff. I used to have the hangers kind of mounted horizontally and I figured it'd be better if it was just a little bit longer. So I broke the tacks and welded it so they're vertical. Um, but it's, it's nice and springy, but it's not, it's not too, I wanted it to be on the stiffer side. So just cause like before it was really sloppy and stuff and like for wheelies and stuff and like being in control, um, having too much flex and suspension travels kind of gets in the way sometimes. But anyways, the back of this thing is really wide, much wider than the front. So what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna chop the factory A-arms in the front and basically we're gonna lengthen it all by the same amount. Uh, probably about two inches, nothing crazy, just enough to, um, help us get a little bit more travel. So I just finished up the front suspension. It's all welded up. It looks amazing. I mean, it works pretty well too. I'll kind of demonstrate it here. It's a little bit on the springier side, but I really do like how like our ride height is when I sit on it. We're compressing about probably a couple inches. The back compresses it a little bit more, but I set it up to have more travel in the back. So it's kind of more fun for like wheelies and stuff. Um, but I'll kind of jump on it a little bit. It's pretty much, this is quite a bit of force. Probably more than we'll see when we're driving it, but I really like how it's riding. And if it's on the springer side, we can always just move out our shock mounts a little bit further, so it's further from the radius. But with that being said, we're wrapping this thing up. Thank you, Go Power Sports. We've got all the live axle parts, wheels and tires, and shocks from Go Power Sports. Um, and it's really making this little kid's ATV into something awesome. So be sure to check them out. Links are in the description for all of that. Be sure to follow us on Instagram. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time.